There are a billion reasons that you would need to switch out the sprite image for a game object, whether it's to move left or right or randomized for characters and game items. I'm going to walk through randomizing the sprite image through any list or an array of images that you got. So I, what I'm going to do here is I already have a game set up. I called this coin because it's going to be the coin, the hamburger, but I don't want it just to be a burger, right? I have these sprites of pizza and donuts, and I, I just want the options. So how we do that, I already have a coin script. That's what I called this, right? So I hit add component, and I typed in coin script, and I hit enter. So I created my script already. What I need to add, um, the stuff I have in here right now, this is an update, is just going to make it so my coin, my hamburger rotates, but it still is only a hamburger. So how to make the sprite randomly change? First, I need to get some other sprite images. To do that, I'm going to go up here and go ahead and type in public sprite and then square brackets. And I'm going to name this list, name this array just sprites. Simple enough. I'm going to hit save over here. Okay. And since it's public, I'll have access to it and inspect. So let's go back over here. Let me make sure to click on coin. And here we are. Okay. Here is the sprite size. How many sprites do we have? Well, I have four I'm going to be using. And now I can honestly just click and drag. So I'll have my first one be the hamburger or the cheeseburger. My second one be the pizza. We'll do a donut for my third one. And I have a double popsicle down here. Okay. Now we have all these set up, but it will not do anything yet. We need to ask it to change it. So on start, I need to have a get I want to get the component what component am I getting I'm going to be getting the sprite renderer I should have just typed it in but I was being lazy okay sprite renderer right I'm getting this thing so on the start when this coin is created when the script starts going I want the sprite renderer and what am I going to get from that well specifically the sprite because there's a lot of things here color draw mode nope I want the sprite renderer and the sprite image from that and I want to set it equal to, well, let's set it equal to sprites, right? So what is sprites? That's the array. That's the list we just created. And I'm going to make it random. So random dot range and then zero because we'll start at the index of zero. And then I want the it always to be able to go to the very last index. So I'm going to get the length of the item. Okay to make sure we can have any number from zero to the end of our array, all the way down to here, all right? So now that I've done this, it's gonna randomly pick a sprite from this list and assign it to our game object. So let me make sure to save this and let's test it out. And we have pizza, <laughs> let's try it again. Oh, pizza again. Okay. And a hamburger. And a pizza. And a donut. And a popsicle. And we have it. So now you can randomly assign sprites to everything. Ta da!